Dubin's out sick again. Health teacher sick again? Not a lot of credibility. I wonder what kind of creepy substitute we'll get today. Wow. That is no substitute. That is the real thing. Good afternoon, class. I'm Miss Kelly, and I'll be filling in for Mr. Dubin for the next few days. On behalf of the entire class, I'd like to say, stay as long as you like. Now, right now, you seem to be covering... It's CPR, and I'm today's dummy. No, actually, we seem to be up to human reproduction, which I hope we can discuss in a mature fashion. <laughs> oh, stop being so young. You know, I'm not as young as they are. I've stayed back, like, 50 times. <laughs> How old are you? 24. <laughs> really? What are you doing in a seventh grade classroom? I'm a cop. <laughs> Sit down. All right, but I'm watching you. <laughs> All right, who can tell us the name of the organ where the eggs are stored, officer? <laughs> Sorry, Miss Kelly, I don't have that stuff. I can name the stuff I have. <laughs> or at least what I call them. All right, the name of the place where the eggs are stored. What are the gonads? <laughs> no, sorry, I was looking for what are the ovaries. Oh, the o- yeah, I always mix those two. <laughs> Try not to, your future will be brighter. Can you tell us anything about ovulation or how pregnancy occurs? Well, the man's got the sperm and the woman's got the egg. Now, once a month, an egg slides down the Philippine tube towards the uterus. The first sperm to reach the egg wins. It gets a medal, it's born, you name him Corey, you push him out the door, and nothing makes sense for the rest of his life. Well, congratulations. You seem to have a thorough understanding of the life cycle. Hey, I live it. Any questions? Yes? <laughs> How do you get a girl to say hi? <laughs>